Hello you guys and welcome back to the channel. This video and the next video on the channel will cover my first wedding in the Philippines. I split the video into two parts, the journey and the ceremony. This video will cover the journey from Los Baños to Vegan. On the way to Vegan, we stopped by the Onion, which is one of the surf capitals of the Philippines. Then when we arrive at Vegan, we are transported back into the Spanish era of the Philippines. I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get started. The first step is to get my barong. I already have my pants, my shoes, and my socks. I will be going with my cousins Ian and Karina, let's go. to vegan was about eight hours we left at three in the morning i don't think i've ever started a road trip at three in the morning so this was a new experience for me currently 2 39 a.m in the morning i'm waiting for my tito ivan and my tita mayo to pick me up we will be going to vegan today i hope you guys are ready for the journey After a few hours of driving, we drove past Manila and then we saw ourselves in the farmlands north of Manila. It was awesome to see all the farmland, we saw some cows out there, and the trip really reminded me of being back home in America. The freeways were clear and I was able to drive a little bit as well. We ended up driving for six or seven hours now. We ended up in La Union. La Union is a big surf capital. There's an international surf competition going on right now. These are the biggest waves I've seen in the Philippines so far. We're gonna see if we can spot some surfers. La Union has a chill beach vibe and is famous for its surfing spots. But surfing is not the only thing that La Union offers. Here you can try red pottery, go grape picking, visit waterfalls in the area, or of course, lounge at the beach. We plan to stay in vegan for two nights. This video will cover the first day. The next day, we'll start the next video, which is the ceremony portion of the series. Here at Grandpa's Inn, we took a pretty long nap. We're gonna go have dinner and just check out the sights today. This is very Spanish era. Yeah. It's a horse, there's a horse. <laughs> it's like Zorro. <laughs> it's sort of like to you to Africa. Six thirty a.m. and my Tito Ivan and I are going to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Atlas Gym. It's only four minutes away from Grandpa's Inn. We're walking through the streets right now to Crisalago. This place reminds me of like being back in time, like in the eighteen hundreds. <laughs> Movies like The Legend of Zorro and Puss in Boots. What do you know about the city, Tito? Vegan has a heritage home because they were spared of bombing during Japanese time. Oh. The story behind that is there's a Japanese officer who has a relationship with a Filipino here in Vegan. So it wasn't bombed? It wasn't bombed. It was spared. <laughs> wow. <laughs> One of the things I look forward to most in my travels is finding different gyms in different cities around the world. We're literally in the cobblestones of the Spanish era of Philippines and then we go go and hit an epic lift and you really just can't beat that. It's awesome. <laughs> 
Tito, what's your instant reaction to the workout? It was good. It wakes me up. I think I have to do this regularly. Yeah. Not that intense though. Thank you, Andre, yeah. for introducing me to <laughs> the right workout. You said it was the first workout so, ever? Yeah, my first workout ever. Structured workout and targets different muscles. Thanks for working yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Andre. The good thing is yeah. you feel the muscle, you also feel the fats. <laughs> <laughs> but it's leaving your body. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Trina, what are we doing? We're riding the Kalasa, then we're going to Pagbornayan, which is the pottery. Whoa! Thank you, sir. Whoa. Pretend you're gonna sell this. After a late lunch, we decided to leave vegan and go to Mindoro Beach. And this beach was about a half hour away and we saw one of the most impactful sunsets I've had this year. For our last night in vegan, we visited Mindoro Beach. This is the first time for everybody. This is the first time for everyone. Karina and I are both flying drones. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Show them your drone. Yeah, it's here. It's a mini too. I said I'm gonna fly to my shoreline, but let's go out a bit today. But we'll try to capture the sunset today. As I approached the wedding, I could not escape the fact that I was thinking about prior relationships that I had and how much pain I had felt when I was out of those relationships. Rediscovering the love of my family has really helped me heal from that pain. I kept on asking myself impossible questions like, could I bring this person back? At the beach, I saw this stick in the middle of the ocean and it was just getting pummeled by waves and it kept on going and going and when i saw that i thought to myself how can i do that in my life how can i get hit by these waves and stand strong and not fall over i always want to reverse time i always want to go back in time and do it different I guess when I saw that stick, it reminded me of myself and how far I've come and how far I will go into the future when I take this channel to new places and meet new people. And I want to thank you for joining me on this journey because it is truly a journey. I'm rediscovering myself. I'm loving the world again. I'm loving my life again. And this is only the beginning. <laughs>